threatening into Wilmington to get started on a new job. We're going to the inspections department. We're going to install a two and a half ton Heil HX H5 15C or heat pump. Change up some duct work a little bit. We're going to keep a little bit of it and change up some of it. Uh, add some new duct work in for an addition. And uh, first stop is the inspections department. All right, we're at the New Hanover County Inspections Department Government Buildings. Just went in, got my permit over there, ready to begin. So we're gonna head back to the job and get started. This is the unit we're gonna be changing out. Although we're not gonna change it out today, I just wanna show everybody that it's probably time to change it out. Looks like definitely have a little bit of an issue there. All right, one of the first things we do is get our boots made. What I do, it's kind of sunny out there. Let's see here. We put a little bit of mastic on the corners of the boots to get them sealed up. We'll make all our boots for upstairs. Uh, downstairs, some of our other supplies. Put our boots on the floor, cut our holes, put our boots on the floor, put a little mastic around them so it seals up the cracks around the holes. And what I'm going to do now is bust a hole in between the two areas of the house separated by cinder block so we can run a little 9-inch truck into this area and put some supply air in here. Alright, I got my trunk duck made for the uh, lower addition area. And that elbow there, there's going to be another 3-foot piece coming off that elbow going this direction and uh, that's going to pass through that masonry wall that I busted through and this is where we're going to run alongside the old wall of the house As you can see there's the addition right there and it's going to feed the lower addition three run outs so two for the uh, dining area and one for the little uh, cupboard or restroom I guess so I'm going to go ahead and insulate that and we'll put it in place all right we got our trunk up made here this is the portion, the L portion is going to go right through that masonry wall underneath there, back to the old section of the house. A little bit of goop on top to keep the seam straight throughout the years, and uh, we're ready to set it in place. All right, we have a uh, Y fitting here. Starts out 14, goes to 10 inch and 9 inch. The 9 inch section will serve the lower addition section here. The 10 inch section will uh, serve the rest of the house, which is the southern section of the house. I have dampers on both of them because we're adding it onto an existing system that we're going to change out later this summer. So I want to be able to control the airflow because it's not a perfect setup. Until we redo the trunk, it won't be really how I'd like it. Okay, this is the top floor of the addition. We just installed the ductwork for here. We have a 9 inch trunk coming up above the trusses, weaving through there. Well, not weaving, going straight through there. And we have a few branch flex runs coming off. I'm going to 4 by 10 supply registers. Three of them are sixes, the one in the closet over there in the corner is a four. Um, trying to deliver about 200 CFM, between 200 and 250 CFM of air into this area uh, to service. Because it's only a master bath and a uh, laundry room and closet, uh, jacuzzi and walk-in shower. Wanted to get enough air. That's why we went with a nine instead of like an eight branching. Because we do have the laundry right there, it's going to be venting for hour-long periods, and it could be in the middle of the day, you never know. So, uh, next step will be putting the main trunk in the attic, which is back over this way, and installing the new 2.5 ton 15 sear split Heil unit, but we have to have a little meeting first to discuss the line set location. I want to run a brand new line set and uh, some venting and things like that. We have a fan tech fan here, which we'll film whenever that comes up. All right, today we're starting on our main trunk section that's in the old part of the house. Uh, since I was upgrading the equipment and we had an addition, I decided to upgrade the rest of the trunk. It was a flex and box system, so I'm going to go to an all hard pipe. We're going to reuse some of the flex runs, but uh, this way it'll be sealed up real nice and uh, more efficient. All right, here's our new trunk duct in place in the attic. It is a little toasty up here, i got to tell you. 16 inch. We'll be going to the new unit. This is the old... Oh the old train, you see it still froze up a little bit. I had to shut it down because what I assume is a block coil is causing it to freeze slowly. So that's our new piece of trunk duct. It'll keep extending down. That's one of the old flexing boxes right there, the existing system. I dropped the other flexing box down so we can go ahead and put this system into place and then attach it once uh, we're ready to change out the train air handler and condenser. So uh, we won't have any downtime as far as the system goes, even though it's not performing very well. 
All right, this is the air handler we're changing out, and the reason why I'm up here at the air handler door is I'm about to check the indoor coil to see if it's frozen over because it's freezing still. We've been freezing all day, and it's been getting worse. So I'm going to see if our coil is just totally blocked up in ice and we had to let it thaw out. Uh, it's a good time to change the unit, so I'm glad we're doing that, but I want the unit to last another few days so we can finish the whole install. So we're going to take a look and see if we can get her going for a few more days so we can finish up. After we gave the blower wheel a spin, it took off, uh, indicating that the capacitor was bad. Uh, this blower is old enough that it might have destroyed the capacitor. It looks like a train replacement blower to me because of the terminal strip there where the uh, taps plug into the motor. But it'll take off for now and give us some cooling. And uh, I might just leave the fan on uh, and replace that cap since they're so inexpensive. It's hard to see up here, but the entire main trunk is in. It goes all the way down from one end to the other there. And what I decided to do on Monday when I come back I'm going to be a sneaky HVAC man and hook up this 14 inch right in front of you, you can't really see it, black flex into that 16 inch hole with a 16 to 14 reducer I'll pick up so I have AC up here while I'm tying stuff in. Because it gets hot and lonely up here when you're one guy doing all this crap. So that's what I'll do, make it a little bit more comfortable during the day and as I tie them in it'll return the AC to the floor below me. But it ought to be a little bit more comfortable when it's 95 outside. All right, today we're working outside on the line set. I got my channel up to run the line set down. I got my two drains in there, secondary and primary, one for the pan, one for the coil. Uh, I'm also gonna add two float switches too, so it'll be well protected against water. Uh, so basically I'm just working on the ladder in between my two little cables there, which are not high voltage. Uh, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna get everything in that channel. And then tomorrow morning, uh, Ari Michael's gonna deliver our two, our 15 seer heat pump and air handler. All right, now I'm feeding the line set up. It's a little bit more difficult, uh, especially single-handedly. Uh, the 3 8 line's not too bad. Liquid line's not too bad. It goes up pretty easy. I'm gonna go up in the attic and make sure we got enough. What I did with the three-quarter line is I just stubbed in about three or four foot at a 45 degree angle up into the attic so it's easy to braise. The air handler's not too far away. It's probably like 15 or 20 feet, but uh, it's, it'll be too, diff too difficult for me to get it all the way over there. So I'm going to up with that and go up in the attic and see if it's long enough then I can tape them down and put some new thermostat wire up there and everything. Alright I got my speedy channel up there uh, that's the first piece I snapped on you see the line set and everything else is in there now so I just got to cover it up put a couple hanging straps midway up there just kind of take some of the tension off of it and uh, had to cut the uh, speedy channel off so it'd be about 18 inches above the ground there you want to get it too close to the ground uh, just paying attention that I'd cut off the end that's going to be going into a coupling so you don't have any rough edges sticking out. Alright, the cover's all done. Everything's inside and ready to go. Uh, the 3 8 line will reach all the way to the air handler and the thermostat wire will reach all the way to the air handler. But I'll have to uh, put a little piece of 3 quarter in there. Uh, rip out Mr. Train here tomorrow morning and put in Mr. ICP. Alright, I'm pretty much all finished with the supply duct work. I still have to mastic a section over there in the addition. But I put some uh, air seal on the tape joints that won't come off. had a problem with tape coming off uh, because of the heat. So I went ahead and sealed them all up. This is our temporary connection to the unit in there. And uh, tomorrow a new unit will be in there. And uh, I think it's the FXM4. It's an ECM motor, an X13 motor with a TXV air handler. So should be good to go then. Take this return off, put it on a new box, put a new access door for the coil so we can service it throughout the years. Get the line set off the platform. The line set's actually going to be on the other side. You can see the 3 8 line over there. Everything else is back behind there. Get everything uh, sealed up, tightened up, and started up tomorrow. All right, here's our platform I built. It's 32 inches by by 60 inches to hold the drain pan and the air handler. I want to boost it up a little bit. We're going to have foam blocks underneath the air handler. It'll give it about four more inches. We got about four inches here. That way, we know our drain is going to be falling real well. And our secondary drain will have plenty of fall as well, even though it's not as critical. So it'll be all ready. Ari Michael should be here in about half an hour. And I'm about to go pump the old system down. Well, our giant 2.5 ton 15 seer unit is here. Air handler and a box up there. One of the little plastic pads and some and a drain pan. The connection on the end. I haven't seen that before. Funky. Alright, we'll make that work. And a piece of PVC. 
we're gonna start installing. All right, things are moving along good here. The supply trunk there is tied in. We've got the ICP Heil up here. Heil, can you see it? Got the return box on, it's a little harder to see. Oh, my turbo torch. Uh, my box, got the line set run over to the side. Got a couple drains down there, still gotta bring over here, but things are moving along well. I'll be setting the big boy out there shortly and then starting her up. All right, we're putting pressure on the system now, slowly but surely. Got my plug-in gauges. I got my little eBay single gauge there. I got that for putting uh, R134 and little appliances and stuff like that. Uh, that's how I flew. I uh, flowed nitrogen because I broke my <clears throat> Uniweld flow meter and I busted that. So I wasn't about to go buy another flow meter. So I already needed this thing. So I just take it real easy. It's not precise and it's not efficient with the nitrogen. But until I go buy another flow meter, that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> so we've got our welds in there. We've got our pipe bent coming down. Come down out of the enclosure. And that's like that. Go right into the machine real nice and neat. So uh, we'll put some pressure on this and test it. And I'll wire up the unit in the attic. And then we'll come down here and finish this one up and get it started. All right, pulling a vacuum down here. We're down here 1175 and running for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going to leave it hooked up. i got to go pick up some large wire nuts. So... Uh, I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll be wrapping her up here shortly. I'll tell you one thing, they are quiet. It's running right now. Still got to add a little bit of charge to it. Pile. Two-speed fan motor. Let's see if we got a, see if, well, we got a two-speed 8.6, which is pretty good, but the uh, subcooling is a little low. Add a little bit of charge to bring that up. And we'll be good to go. Nice and quiet.